Hey, Brian. It's Dave. Hey, guess what, man? I found it. I finally found it. The perfect business bank account. What's up, business heroes? I'm Dave, your self-employment sidekick, here to bring you some tips, some tricks, and encouragement, help you answer some questions as you're navigating this thing called working for yourself. I have opened and closed more business bank accounts than I have business dealing with. There were really just a handful of things that I was looking for in a bank account. I found a few passable options, but there was always a trade-off of some sort. Maybe it did two things really well, but just completely bombed at one of them. Or maybe it checked all the boxes on paper, but when I actually got in there and started using it and having to use their online interface, it just became a clunky mess. Until now, I found a bank account that I'm really happy with. Relay, or Relay Financial, or RelayFi.com is a beautiful piece of bank. I don't want to waste a lot of time going through features that you can easily look at on their website yourself. They have an FAQ saying what they do and what they don't do. I just want to let you know quickly what they do well and why I like them and why I found them to be the perfect fit for me. But before I go into any of that, let's talk about perfect fit because I wear a size large. I used to wear a size medium. You probably have different needs, different preferences. If you are handling a lot of cash and need to make cash deposits, if you like walking into a branch and talking to somebody in person, if you want to build a relationship with a bank where you're establishing good credit so you can get a loan, this might not be the one for you. But if you want a simple and beautiful online only experience where you can deposit checks online and access all of your accounts, multiple accounts. If you're doing the profit first system with your business and you need to open up multiple bank accounts that are easy to manage under one umbrella and you don't need to maintain a certain minimum without being charged fees. And yes, if you want to do this all without fees, then Relay is a great option and I would highly recommend it to you. Also, for what it's worth, I am not getting paid for this. This is not a sponsored review. I am not an affiliate. There's nothing in this for me. I just like this bank a lot, and I want you to uh, have access to the best tools for your business. But if uh, somebody from Relay is watching this and you like what you see, and I don't know, maybe like some money appears in one of my bank accounts, I wouldn't complain. Just, just saying. So let me take you for a quick tour. Right up front, you will see when you log in, you can manage multiple bank accounts under one roof. I have my own LLC and I am a partner with Brero and I am an administrator on both accounts. Now let's go a little bit deeper and take a look at Brero's account. Now up front, it's a very simple interface. You have your total balance, recent transactions, and over in the sidebar is where you can do all of the fun magic stuff. Now this is one of the biggest bell ringers for me, the ability to manage multiple accounts and to see all of them right here. Now I'm using the profit first method, so I have an income account, and then I divvy that up into operating expenses, profit, taxes, and owner's compensation. If you're unfamiliar with the Profit First Method, I have a video all about that. In a nutshell, it's a really simple and smart way to manage your business finances, to make sure you have money where it needs to be, and to ensure profitability from day one. Every time we receive payment, whether I'm depositing a check or it comes in as a transfer, it goes into the income account. From there, I can easily move the money. I can choose which account it's coming from and which account it is going to, how much I want to move, and then I move it. And it's there instantly. All of these sub accounts, you can open with more or less the click of a button. You can easily name them whatever you want to make it easy for you to stay organized. And there's no minimum. That is one thing that just drove me nuts in my bank account search. It was so hard to find a bank that would work well with the profit first system because 
each checking account would require that you hold at least a minimum of, say, a thousand dollars. You spent over a thousand dollars last year on Waffle Below. And that's not going to work because every two weeks, I completely drain the income account when I divide that into the other buckets. Now, a lot of you are probably solopreneurs, but if you are working with a team and you have employees, you can invite more users to your account and you can even give them access to specific checking accounts. And you can even give them their own debit card that is tied to a specific checking account. This could be really beneficial if you say have trust issues, but seriously, if you have a staff member who's in charge of running to the store and making purchases for some materials you have a specific materials account they can go take their own card and do what they need to do without you having to worry about them running down the tax account or spending other money that they really shouldn't be spending credit card you got it now if i haven't said it before relay is completely free for $30 a month, you can unlock some additional features. Most of them are related to automatically paying bills out of your account to different vendors and also syncing it with different software. But the free version does integrate with QuickBooks and Xero. And that's actually where I learned about Relay in the first place. Shout out to Formations Corp. They're the team that is managing my books for my S Corp. And I gotta do a whole video on them and S Corps in the future. Uh, but I hadn't heard of Relay before, but these were one of their recommended banks. And it's because how well their bank integrates with the software they use and a lot of other accountants use. But all the while, you have full access and everything is very nice and human readable to you. For every transaction, you can easily get more human readable details on. When you deposit a check, you can leave a note on it and it will pull a check image for you without needing to request it from the bank and wait three days for them to process it. That's just a nice little feature. Everything kind of appears in this little slide out drawer for you to get more information on your banking activity. Some of the other online only options that I used in the past are okay, but Relay just takes it to another level. Some of the things you could argue are silly or strictly cosmetic and relatively unimportant things. But when you load up their app and you deposit a check without having to do all of that zoom in, zoom out, Pivot. auto focus, auto capture garbage. No, 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 I wasn't lined up yet. If you know, you know. Here, you just line it up, you take a picture, and you're done. Some banking apps are just really frustrating to use, and this is not one of them. Now, it looks so nice because Relay is primarily a software company. They're a fintech company. They're not actually the bank themselves, which is to their advantage because banks aren't software companies. Software companies are software companies. Relay partners with Evolve Bank and Trust. They're a pretty solid institution. They've been around since 1925. They're FDIC insured, all of that stuff. And the Inc. 5000, top workplaces in the US, and a top 50 financial institution by Nacha. I don't know who Nacha is. I started with Capital One, but that was actually a personal bank account. Then I went, did I open up with Chase? But then I tried out Oslo. It wasn't really quite ready yet. Then I went to MBKC, bounced back and forth between them and Novo Bank. Then when I started Brera with my partner, I landed on a small local bank, worked well with the Profit First system, but their online experience was not that great. And there were some other things that got a little eh, when it came time to actually transfer money to other accounts. I tried Oslo again and started moving everything over to there and then they closed down. Then I moved back to Novo, which that would be my second runner up. Nova is perfectly fine if you're just getting started and you think it's just gonna be you and your side gig for the foreseeable future. But Relay is still good for those people and it has all of these tools to allow you to grow. And that is why I think they are the perfect 
business bank account, and you should really consider checking them out. But let me know what you think. Is there another bank that you absolutely love and you're kind of evaluating and considering making a switch? Or have you been a Relay customer and you had a slightly different, more negative experience? Do you have any glaring questions or is there something that I went over that's confusing or I just left out? Shoot me a line. I would love to hear from you. I'd love to hear from you about anything because self-employment shouldn't be by your self-employment and I want to be a resource to you as you are trying to figure out all of this stuff. The paperwork, the banking, all of these things probably aren't why you decided to go to business for yourself. So I am here to lend some small level of support because I'm figuring it out too and if there's anything that I can learn to help you find a shortcut or avoid a pitfall or just offer assurance to you. Uh, that is what I want to do for you through these videos. I hope you find them helpful. I hope you and your family are well, and I will see you in the next one.